What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome to Ratchet and Clank. This game is very old, it's been going on for now for 14 years, next year, it's 15 years anniversary, might be bringing out another Ratchet and Clank game, maybe bringing out another Ratchet and Clank film, I will go watch it, the first one was actually pretty good. Not amazing, but it was pretty good, I liked it, I enjoyed it, it was pretty cool, I saw some Sly Cooper in there, maybe a Sly Cooper film next year, I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, we are here. I did say that Zeta was going to be on in this video, but when I went to went to over to his, I recorded it his, and the game crashed after 10 minutes of playing the game. If it does that now, we'll probably do a different Resident Evil, probably, probably go for Resident Evil Outbreak, I think. Might be more easy to do, but anyway. Let's just fucking roll this game, because if the game crashes after 10 minutes, I will be doing something else, so until I can get a different copy of the game, so then I can have a better working copy of it. I know my... The weird thing is, it might just be his PS2, considering... Um, the only reason why I could say that is because my PS2 is really cool, really good. It's played a lot of games better than anything else. When I used my other brother's slim one, it didn't work as much, but we'll see how it goes with this. Didn't put subtitles on again. We'll fix that in a minute. Robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Oh, a little bit of lag. A little bit of remixing in there. I have a feeling it's going to crash again after 10 minutes. I'll try and skip it if I can. It's not much scene missing. I'm just hoping we can work with it. Don't do this to me again, please. That's I'm going to have to buy a copy. I really don't want to buy a copy of this. I do, but I don't at the same time. Please don't die on me, game. I know you're old, but please. My PS2 may not be able to play the crappy version, or the crappy thing. Oh, crap. If so, then well, we can either play Ratchet and Clank 2 or just wait until I get a better copy of Ratchet and Clank 1. And just pass this on somewhere, I guess. It works fine on my other, con on my other, con um, on my other save file, which I'm near the end of that, though. I'm looking forward to playing this today. <laughs> oh, well. That's why you've got a Resident Evil Outbreak to fill in the gap or the slot for its time. So I'm going to time this weekend anyway, so I'll be able to buy the game again. That's how the game works, or that's how things work anyway. So if it does crash, there's not to worry, it'll just return next week. You won't even know, because if it crashes, you won't be seeing this. So, don't know why I mentioned we're going to be doing Resident Evil Outbreak. I'll just mention it in Resident Evil Outbreak when I do it. Those games can be quite, quite long. It's a Resident Evil week kind of thing today, because Resident Evil gets finished tomorrow. Well, Outbreak does anyway. That reminds me, uh, options... Help desk, turn that fucking voice off, it fucking annoys me. Subtitles, get those bitches on. And off the truck. Just try not to eat shit and die, Ratchet, please, that'd be great. I forgot about the fecking house again. That was my shit, good. Should've help desk, lady. I need my coins. So that I can save up for the dream weapon. Because I'm gonna try and go through without collecting only two guns. Uh, one being the blaster, because we need it, and one being the devastator, because we also need that. You don't need to really need the blaster, but the blaster does help a lot with a lot of bosses. And so I'm going to stick with the blaster, the bomb, bomb glove, which we already have, which is in my hand. And the, um, whatever you call it. The blaster and the devastator, because you get towards, like, I think, mission level 9 or level 10, or something like that where your fucking thing gets wrecked. It's weird how this game is only a P PlayStation only, or a PlayStation exclusive. Xbox don't really have that many exclusives, though. Hence why P PlayStation does have a little upper hand on that one. But personally, I prefer the Xbox. A lot of people say that, you don't even have a PS4, so how can you compare the difference? Like, well, guess what? I do have a PS4, so fuck off. A lot of people do get complaining, because the, the environment I work in... It's basically just the job you go to just to like pay your way into living. But for me, I was like, I want to splash my money out on everything I fucking can do. And I do. 
Well, I forgot about doing that. Oh well. At least at the bottom now I can don't have to hear a horrible voice. We'll learn all my crap. That's nanotech. Yes, I know. I don't need to really need to pay attention to that. That's just for you guys if you want to read it or not. Don't really need to keep the tutorial on though, considering I know how to play the game. After playing it a little bit yesterday. Basically, most of this game is just hitting fucking boxes, mainly. Don't think it's good for a mini-series or like a... Well, mini-series basically daily, but the last week as it is, with the Resident Evil, you have to keep it up there. I don't know. Ooh, miss all those fucking things. How the fuck did I miss those guys? Jesus. I don't think I went back to those. Right, turn you down a bit. You're actually a bit loud. Wait, can I turn the in-game option? Um, volume down, please. That'd be great. Uh, sound. Turn you down a bit. Uh, music's fine. Okay, there we go. It's the sound effects are a little bit too loud for me. When I'm smacking away in all the box sounds and shit. can easily do shit like that, but it's hard to talk about something when you've done the same fucking level like over and over again, because we tried to record this three times yesterday. Well, not record it three times, but trying not to get, get not to get the game to crash for three times, so let's get a bit closer. There you go. Middle one. Boom. Nailed it. Triple kill. Free star combo for the triple kill. I'm about to say cool atrocity, but that's a seven. Not a single. Right, come here, bitches. Did I get it? Missed it again. I'm always missing that shot, right? I need to be skillful here. And not get eat shit and died. Right, you killed that guy. Oh, I can make him kill themselves. I forgot about that. That's a little thing you need to learn at this point, I guess. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Get wrecked. Give me that crap. I need to get used to the freaking camera controls. I don't think they're inverted, though. Yeah, they're not inverted, no. Or are they? Because I'm pushing right and the camera and the other camera going right, I guess. It makes sense, don't it? Sometimes in cameras it's like the other way around. You push right and like technically it's turning the right around the character like it, but it's turning left. Which makes no sense to me. No, it's not. It's doing the right thing. Yeah, that's what it should do. The camera's going right and all that shit. I wonder how long it took someone to speed run this game. But you do need an Eversail. I'm all trying to save it for the Rhino. I'm not bought it me so far, but it's really hard to do so. Because you've got to waste money and everything. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. I wonder I don't know how of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Did their voice actor change for Ratchet? Hello, I think they did. Citizens of my race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> The people on those planets are hoes. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. I never noticed his little red bulb freaking grow. I know he's blinking now, but it grew when he was doing the freaking sys check, system check. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, 
And you get my ship started for me? That sounds so point. young. Now he's just changed. Deal. So once I got on this off this planet, I never knew how. See this way it crashed. It crashed there on, on my friend's PS2. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Which is just weird. So it just goes to show that. Rip subtitles. Turn your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me, sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Because with the slimline PS2, is the things I've noticed the most that they kind of crash. So you see, it would or not as powerful as the old ones were. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you, you need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No. He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any I love how they changed him in the film as well. They made him more fatter. And more, like, ahead of things. And not just like a little snot, little freak shit. And he's flicking away from, like, a bogey. Or a bugger, if you're American. How did they end up crashing? Oh. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we can procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. We'll do this level and then end the video then. It feels like that um, Resident Evil is going to be on withdrawal for now then. Or whatever, because it seemed to be working fine now. It just crashed. Let's... We've got auto save, so that's all good. Right. Level's quite a big one, but there's lots to do. Gold, gold things to find and shit, which we're all cool with and all that crap. Right? Do we? We can go across this way, can't we? Because we can swim. I need to remember how to swim. That's all. But the coins in this game are not that bad. Not as um, worthy as they are in number two. Let's say that for a fucking get up there, ratchet, please. Thank you. Good boy. But now I could probably say more new shit. Now we're on a fucking new level. It's just that it's harder when you've not played a game before that you've got more intake and shit to say things. But when you're playing a game they've played like a thousand times before, there's not really much new to say on it, I guess. If I need blue, I could really come back on all these levels again, can't I? Just not that good at fighting in this game. I do have a bomb though. I need to remember that I have a bomb. Right, can my can this open the secret hole? Hole, not hole, hole in this cave. I don't know if the bomb can or not. I know the Devastator can, I know the Vizzy Bomb can, but this one's a new one for me. Right, where is the secret pool? Is it this one? Yes, yeah, this one. BIP! Like I said, I already know what I'm doing. Can I swim faster? No, I don't have the hydro pump. Well, the hydro pack. We get that much later in the game when we go to Pokitaru. Looking forward to doing that one. I will have to buy size matters as well, won't I? Because that was in the series as well. Oops! What about size matters? Although I could skip that one out because it was originally for the PS2, but you can get the PlayStation 2 port. It's very rare though. I've only seen it once. It was expensive for a PS2 game. So that's like ancient old. But like I said, it was mo mo mainly for the PSP that they just ported over to the other one. I don't know what size matters is about, to be honest. I really can't remember. I think he's just following Clank more than anything. Like Agent Clank. Um, excuse me, thank you, Ratchet. Nailed it. Right, where's the freaking hole? Ho hole! Not hole. Hole! God damn it, learn your fecking words, dude. Jesus. So I know there's a gold. There's a gold Nugent. Not a gold nugget. A golden bolt. 
think I've gone past it. Not too sure. I did go past it. I need to go back and get it. I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Let's just see the hydro pipe for a split second. Did the game break on me? I think it's in this room. I believe it is. Yeah, it's there. There you go. See, go ball. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think there's two in this level. Let me go check. Should be able to check in my map. Bolts, please, maybe. I think you check. Yeah, I don't think you can check it here, but I know there's two gold bolts. There's, I like. There's a third one somewhere. But I need to get that when I've got the hydro pack, so I can swim in against the current. And the O2 mask would also help. When we get that too. Well, that's much, much later. Right, basically all that we're there for is just to get some bolts and the gold bolt as a secret. I don't know where they are, you see. I don't know where they all are. I need to find them all. But I can still get them all right. In here would be the next selection I get, I'd say. Let's go get all that shit sorted. Oh, dear. I know there's one down here, too. I would like to say there's one. I think there is a gold bolt on every level. Somewhere, just some of them are more secretive than others. Just that fucking speed in this guy is just really slow at the moment. Eh. Nearly fucked myself over. Let's not do that again. Okay, so we've got gold bolt number one. Let's get gold bolt number dos. Just can ball jump, and this one's right up here. So I know where they are, like I said. They help you get the golden weapons at the very end of the game. Some of them are really fucking good. You can get the golden omni wrench, which looks pretty decent. Only does a little bit more damage, but for this game, you don't really need the golden wrench. Do you get the golden wrench after collecting all the gold bolts? I don't know. It might just be like for an effect, or something. No idea. You you just go down there. Nope, never mind. You don't want to go down there. That's fine by me, mate. I'll fucking kill you instead. Does this hurt me? No. It just. Little effect of nothing, I guess. Look forward to playing this game now, though. Now it's working again. I don't know how many, how will the other cutscenes are going to stand with the other thing, but hey ho. Hey ho. Right. Door, please. Thank you. Right. You're literally just there for nothing, aren't you? You're, no, you're for distance when I've got the helipack. I know things. I know all the things. But really don't need the helipack at this moment. Helipack? Helipack. Yeah, but it. Jump. Didn't work. Jump. Nail it. Right. Again. That thing in there to uh, help you get across when you have some form of transportation other than on foot. I like how Clank's just on my back just chilling out, not doing anything. That's why I prefer number two. Number two is a lot better than this one. Just that might as well start the series off nice and fresh. We're going to be at Ratchet and Clank for quite a fucking while as well. Because we've got number one, number two, number three, Gladiator, um, what was number five called? Uh, Tools of Destruction, um, Quest for Booty, Into the Nexus, and the other, there's one more. I need that one. And there's the new one that came out, the remake. I'm not getting the all for one and the other four player one. I'll probably, I'll probably buy them, but I don't know if I'm going to record them or not. I don't think I see the point in doing that. But I will play as many as I can. And probably move on to the Sly Cooper series and the Jack series, but I'm not 100% sure on those at the moment, to be honest. I fucking hate when my freaking controller does that. It starts walking for no reason, even though I pulled it, pushed it fully down. Right. Hello! And blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. 500 bolts? Really? That's how much he needs to get a freaking escape transport? 
How much does he fucking get paid? Dude, this box is over here. Just get fucking 500 coins from this. Unless he only needed 500 more. Wow, I'm just collect all these things and I'll go help you out. I remember you. Oh! Um... I remember it actually because... I remember seeing a little bit of the game where you find this guy after doing this level and he says, I'll see you in the next remake. He just passes it to you. Geronimo! Did you just slide down a sewer pipe? <laughs> I just like, just question that and like, Clank's like, ignore him! Maybe, maybe. This is the solar ship radical. We this seem guy, to be under this guy's great. From the planet's surface. <laughs> Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Back down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long. Kid, let's amscrain the jack! The jack! <laughs> Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hover. I just felt that right. Good. Going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. His eyes grew. New coordinates for new planets. Well, that's level two already, but we're not done with level one yet, so I can't escape this planet. Need a ship first. Let's yeah, good all these coins on the way down. Three thousand. Should I go for the pyrotech thing? Is it the pyromancer? I don't know what it's called. Don't need bullets though, don't need the gun. Let's see what else we've got though. Oh, the pyrocyter. I got some great bargains for you today. Can we meet that guy? That like goes cool. Although, don't need anything now. There we go. All the way down when you into that big grey area. Let's see then. That's a bridge to get back over. Aha, bitch. Aha, bitch. What's up, Bobo? Okay, now this is where the fucking real level starts and begins. Get all the money we need. Like I said, buying the blaster when we get to Metropolis. I'm spoiling the game for you. I do apologize. It's weird how I remember all this shit, though. I will admit, I do remember a lot of crap. I don't have the Devastator, or else I will get a skill point at this level as well. Skill points are something I really should work on. I figure out how to do some of them. Oh well, whoop, whoop. I said whoop, whoop. These guys are not that fucking easy, hard to kill. Fuck, damn it. I say as I get obliterated easily. See, now the thing is, to get a skill point, you gotta stand on one of these two things and then shoot a plane down. Or a car down, anything like that. You can't do it anywhere. You just gotta do it from that spot on that spot alone. Really hard to do unless you've got a really decent launching weapon. Just leaving coins everywhere, what the fuck? Well, coins, but... How easy is it to get... It bought some money in this game. Like, a bolts of rare thing to come across, or... Because, because, like, money could be built... Like, money builds robots. That's the weird thing. It just doesn't make sense. Why are bolts money? I guess in his solar system, like, the silvery um, thingy my bobby ones are just the money bolts, I guess. It's just base basically screws and nuts, not bolts. Bolts are like, I don't know, Americans might call bolts different from screws. That looks like a, looks like a screw to me, not a bolt, and they're just nuts, the other ones. It's weird how the game works as money very strange but games like they don't make games like this anymore like adventure platform kind of things it's weird like a 3d platformer they don't make them anymore right down here i know there's a freaking i know through there if i had the hydro pack and the o2 mask i'd be able to get the third and final gold bolt on this level but oh well let's just move on and just daddly around just avoid this fucking guy's attacks there you go can I have some TNTs in this game? I know there is some, but I want them on this level so I can, like, fuck myself over on them. Boom! 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 Like, that's ever going to be something dangerous to walk across a fucking bridge. Not hard to do. I like how they're attacking and not just taking the chunk that they wanted to take out. Like, we're not really saving a planet, are we, really? Because he's just still going to take the freaking chunk. Isn't he? 
Let's face it, Ratchet's not going to do much at this point. I know he stops Chairman Drake, but hey ho. As we know, not by spoiling it, but because there's a freaking two, there's a remake and everything. The series went off, kicks off really good. After like so long, they started remaking the series. Well, thank you for killing your friend. That saved me the trouble there, yellow guy. Come then, bitches. But fucking frisbees for days. No good. No good. Aha. Motherfuckers. Go. Can, I, can I get all three? Can I get all three? Nope. Nailed it. Awesome. Right. Any more? Because I think I missed that. Yeah, there they are. Look. The secret hidden stash of boxes. We're not even using the bongo at this point. Like I said, you don't really need to use it unless you get come across something really big and scary, like the freaking lizard people. Spoiling it again, and I don't care. Alright, I know this game's gonna have some fucking more secrets for me, isn't it? Like, I'm gonna come back here with the freaking... What is that way? I'm curious to see now. Nah, that's the waterfall. Okay, then. Well, went that way for nothing. Gotta go all the way around again. Because it's on high platform. Curiosity did kill the cat, as they say. Why are my videos this week being 30 minutes long? Fuck's sake. It's just strange. Oh, well, I didn't pick up this, I didn't pick up this dead guy's bolts. Oops. Sorry, right, you don't get much of them anyway. For me, so there's no... Initiatives collect every little last coin in this one. Like in number two, there's a lot fucking more to take out in it. Ten times more easy, I guess. Right, who comes down with him? I do spoil a lot, I do apologize. Okay, just three, I thought there were five. No difficulty setting, so there might be a difficulty curve. My poor little brain. I do know I do know I need to save up a lot of fucking money. I know how much weapons cost. Pretty sure the blaster's 5,000, the devastator's 30,000, the nanotech is 15,000 or 10,000, and the nanotech plus is um, 35,000, I believe. I cannot remember. I'm glad they changed the freaking um, health system as well in, the new, in number two. A lot of things changed for number two for the better. Sometimes for the worse, but some things were a lot, ten times better. I don't want to kill you yet because I want this box. Now we can kill you. Let's fucking walk straight into his weapon. There we go. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. This guy. Like you see all the boxes and bolts in the background. As this ever That's actually to you, quite cool. I am Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting Love Al. It's great. <laughs> Come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack. It's quarktastic. I like how I paid him. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. God damn it. Two new planets. Who should we go to first? Well, let's just end the video then, shall we? And then decide it on the tomorrow's video. Or we'll just pick a video. I think Metropolis would be the better thing. So can't go to Outpost 14. Outpost 4. I don't even think it's called Outpost 4. I don't even know what it's called. Is it Outpost 4? I know there's a freaking god ball somewhere on that level. Hard to get to, though, without any help of flying. Or the drill. But either way, we're done for today.
We'll go off to the next planet and save it. So yeah, so it's out. I knew it was outpost something. But we can't go there yet without the slingshot. But we need to go to Metropolis for that one. So we'll go to Metropolis first. Three out of four. I don't want to do that. I want to go back and then look at my own planet. Two out of three. And my money's in outpost. I think there's four in this one. I remember all my shit. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a skill point in that one too. Okay, let's go visit Al's Robo Shack. It's fantastic. Apparently. Oh, God, that sounded, that sounded so cringy. Be more drink. I ran out. That is strange. Is there any cutscene on this one, or we're just going to land and then off we go? Considering it took two levels in half an hour. I just love how that cutscene had like freaking boxes in the background. Well, that's quite cool. Right. Okay, guys. So that's going to be it for today with Ratchet and Clank. We'll get Zeta in on next time. Hopefully the game works at that point. I forgot how to save the game. There we go. Found it. Slot two. Yes, please. Okay, so that's going to be it for today with Ratchet and Clank. We'll try and bring out Zeta for this level Metropolis next time. Let's hopefully it goes our way. But anyway, that does it for today. And as always, this is Rixalite, signing out.